Alright folks, so today we're going to do a bit of an experiment. We want to see just how strong our timber frame joints are. The guys behind me have cut a sample joint and we're going to try and blow it up. So get, let's go and have a look. So Luke's cut us a sample joint. We've got this bit of 200 by 200 spotted gum, which is one of our you know, best Australian timbers and one that we use quite a lot. Uh, this piece has our mortise, 200 mil mortise with our two standard 20 mil pegs. Pegs are going to be spotted gum as well with a 20 mil uh, peg with a yeah, 3 mil tape. So we'll get our mortise, oh. our tannin, we're going to be popping it together like this, right there. So that's a fairly standard joint, our normal sort of setup. Um, we're going to peg that together over in our little contraption here and then we're going to see if we can pull it apart and see how, just how much load it actually looks great. Yeah, I think that looks grand. It would be in the limelight, come on this side, mate. That's looking perfect there, Lucy. Better than anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Set. Yeah. 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 So we go straight up like that. And we go down together. Three, two, one. Yeah. 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 Four ton jack, and the guys are already struggling. It's pretty much you can save the car with this. It's pretty much a capacity on the jack. We haven't heard a single crack. Joints opened, maybe three mil. So there's no splitting or cracking on that peg at all. Just a whole lot of bend. Pretty strong. So there's no splitting at all here. The tenon is just as good as day one. We'll need a beer after this. So we've taken the jack off that. The pegs are pretty much brand new. What's happened, they've just flexed under the four tons of load. So the joint, we had a few mil gap in the joint, but it wasn't anything breaking. The pegs were able to just bend with the load. So as we've taken the weight off, they've just gone straight back to where it was. Pegs are still good. We're going to try again with a bigger jack. You can hear some cracking. How's the jack feel? Still doing it easy? Would you say it's at 50%? Yeah, it's at 50%. That feels like it's broken to me. I oh, think. Yeah. So we have some braking this time. So our tenon is still perfect, there's no breaking on the tenon. So you would suggest that's the strongest part of the joint. On our mortise, on the other hand, we can see a decent bit of cracking in the line of the tenon. So we can see a bit of cracking on the line of the pegs inside the mortise as well. So what have we found here with this joint? When we did it the first time, we had two two-ton jacks. So that's four tons of, of force pushing up. Both of the jacks were pumped to capacity, you know, using a bit of judgment, but we pumped it to, to capacity on the jacks and we had basically a three mil gap on our joint that had flexed up a little bit, but nothing had broken. So we pulled it apart, the peg was fine, it had bent a little bit, 
um, but it had just nothing had broken. So you could safely assume that four tons of, of uplift, which is roughly 40,000 kilonewtons, was you know pretty much on the money. 40 kilonewtons, 40,000 newtons. There's a maths question for you. So we then went to the bigger jack, which was two eight ton jacks, and we thought that was definitely gonna break, but we did it anyway. What happened with that? We broke it. So basically, the first thing that went was the pegs. So the pegs bent a long way, but then they ended up breaking. We're sort of gauging that the jack was probably at about 50% capacity, but it's, it's hard to know. Like we don't have exact sort of measurements on the, on the jack the pressure and that, but we're guessing it was about maximum probably 50%. So it's you know, gonna be somewhere around sort of probably six to eight tons um, of sort of force pushing up. And, um, and then we had basically a, a failure of the joint. So the peg's gone. You can see here, like that peg's basically had it, like it, it has bent a long way, um, but then it's failed and it's broken. The tenon has ha has, hasn't broken at all. Like, so it's still strong as, like there's not a single skerrick of difference there from when we put the joint together. The mortise piece on the other hand has also broken a little bit. Um, and as we've looked at, we've seen a bit of splitting here. We've got a bit of splitting along the peg line in there. So that would suggest that the top part of this beam is sort of lifting up. Um, in thinking about it, we're probably, you know, because we've got such a short member, like in practice, our, this timber would would have been obviously a much longer member. Um, so that may have helped hold that together a bit more. Um, so we could probably say that in reality, in a building with a long continuous top plate, we would have had less of this sort of thing happening because we wouldn't have had this same sort of short grain. But in this situation, it broke along there. It's not necessarily a critical failure at the moment, like that the joint is still functioning, like that would be okay, that part. But, you know, if we had have pumped those, the jacks up much more, that would have broken off, no doubt, as well as the pegs breaking. So, you know, in looking at that with spotted gum, sort of F17 hardwood, um, 100 mil tenon, two pegs, 20 mil pegs, out of, out of dry spotted gum as well. Um, you know, we easily did the four ton, the joint performed fine. And then somewhere around, you know, six to eight ton we're sort of estimating is when it started to have, have issues. So that's a lot of a lot of force that we're withholding. If we think about this in the, like in a cyclone situation, um, you know, that, especially with the four ton load, like the cyclone may have caused that joint just to flex a little bit, but then as soon as the, the cyclone or the wind or the storm or Jesus has walked down the road, it's all just settled back to where it was. So we're pretty pleased with that. Now we're going to cut another joint out of Cypress, um, which is a softwood, which, you know, in theory should be considerably less strong, um, but be interesting to see what that can withhold. So let's get on to that.